Namaste. It just seems that we're living in such wild times, such uncertain times where many aspects of our life, of our life seems to just be crumbling around us. And I had this happen to me for three separate years, 92, 93, and 94, where I had major disasters happen every year. And it just seemed like a big free fall in the unknown. And in 1992, I was diagnosed with a very, you know, a large basketball sized tumor. And thankfully I healed during that time. And then in 1993, we had the big mega fires in Malibu and our little cottage on the beach just was decimated. Our cars blew up and we were financially devastated by it. And in 1994, my husband of 20 years, who I considered to be the great love of my life at that time, shared with me that he'd fallen in love with another woman and was had already spoken to her about marriage and it just seemed like everything that i considered to be my life that was what i'd come to know as solid and reliable and known was thrown into the chaos of the unknown and someone gave me a greeting card and at first, when I read the words on a greeting card, I just thought this is just so trite at a time like this when I'm undergoing such disaster. So much is falling away in my life and I've got almost nothing left of what was my life. They give me a greeting card with these words and yet somehow they penetrated and they went in and there was an allegory on that greeting card. And it said, one man, one night, he had a dream. And in that dream, he met with God. And he looked back through the course of his life. And there were two sets of footprints in the sand, his and God's. And yet during the time of worst catastrophe, of greatest disaster, of greatest struggle. There was only one set of footprints in the sand. And he turned to God and said, why have you forsaken me at a time where I was most devastated? And the divine answered, that is when I carried you. And in reading that, I realized that something that I didn't have a name for had been carrying me through all of life's disasters. And that that something, that invisible presence, was the only thing I could surrender to. And I fell into trust of life. And I think that's what the invitation is here now. We can't change what is going on. I couldn't change the fact that a tumor came up for me. I couldn't change the fact that my house burned down, that my cars exploded, that we were financially wiped out. I couldn't change the fact that my husband had fallen in love with a younger woman and eventually left me for her and married her. All I could do was surrender into what is. And so right now life is making that invitation to all of us to surrender into what's here now. And yet this time of uncertainty when we're all in this hibernation as it were in lockdown is a time where great creativity arose for me and all of the work that I'm now doing, following my calling, the journey was born from this creative time where I had lost everything and had surrendered in trust to this. And out of that, creativity arose and a new way forward arose. And yes, maybe life won't be the same as it was prior to coronavirus, but how we use this time, it may usher us into a whole new way for our global family to live life 
in a more conscious way, in a kinder way, in a way where we're more interested in spending time with our loved ones and time with ourselves, time honoring nature and letting go of some of the hustle and bustle, the busyness and the craziness that our lives have become. Let yourself be carried during this time. That surrender will birth all kinds of wonderful ways forward for you. Namaste.